great educator once said that the problem with education today is that we are constantly telling students to find answers to questions that they never even asked. This comment really stuck with me and it made me think about how I could continue to use excellent resources such as biointeractive animations, but use them in a different way, a way that could start to inspire my students to ask great questions of their own. As a result, whenever I use an animation, such as this one on cell fate, I use the following steps. This particular animation I use to introduce cancer once students already have a firm foundation of the cell cycle and a working idea of somatic stem cells. First, I turn off the sound. During the first showing, I ask them to sit back and watch and immerse themselves in the animation. Second, we watch again, still with the sound off. This time they write down two or three details that catch their attention. We then spend a few minutes as a class sharing some of these details. Finally, they watch again, still with the sound off, and I ask them to write down three questions that they have. What happens next is different, depending on my goals for the material and their questions. Sometimes it's enough to just turn the sound on and ask students to listen for their answers to their questions. But sometimes I use this as a launching point for an entire unit. Other times, no matter what we do, the answers don't easily reveal themselves. In this case, I encourage my students to dig into resources, find their answers, and discuss what they learn.